Rice water versus compost tea, the shocking test that proves the best fluid for soil microbes. Are you tired of your garden soil feeling, well, lifeless, plants drooping, leaves dull, and growth slow, no matter what you try? What if the secret to explosive plant vitality was already sitting in your kitchen or compost bin? In today's Soil and Crops Central Experiment, we're putting rice water and compost tea head-to-head -to, -head to see which one truly wakes up your soil microbes faster and transforms tired soil into a living, breathing ecosystem of growth. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which natural tonic gives your garden the best start and how to make it yourself. The Ultimate Soil Showdown for years, gardeners have sworn by both rice water and compost tea. One is a byproduct of your kitchen routine. The other is a brewing process cherished by organic farmers. Both are rich in nutrients and microbial life, but which actually performs better in real soil conditions. That's what we set out to uncover in this Soil and Crop Central test. We wanted to know... Which one activates microbial life faster and helps your soil bounce back to life after long-term nutrient fatigue? Microbes are the unsung heroes of soil. They break down organic matter, release nutrients, and help plants absorb what they need. The faster they wake up, the sooner your garden starts thriving. All right, folks, let's dive into preparing the contenders. We're kicking things off with rice water. Simple, humble, and, believe it or not, surprisingly powerful. To whip this up, we took one cup of uncooked white rice and gave it a good rinse in two liters of clean, chlorine-free water. Now, instead of tossing that cloudy water away, we held on to it. That's your base rice water, folks. Already packed with carbohydrates that nourish beneficial soil bacteria and fungi. For an extra microbial kick, we let it ferment for 48 hours in a loosely covered container just hanging out at room temperature. This fermentation process allows naturally occurring lactobacillus and yeast to multiply, transforming that plain rice rinse into a living tonic. Before applying it to the soil, we diluted it in a ratio of one part fermented rice water to three parts water, ensuring it's gentle enough for soil microbes and roots alike. Now, let's move on to compost tea, the heavyweight champion of organic gardening. We started with two cups of mature, well-decomposed compost, which we placed inside a breathable mesh bag. That bag found its home in a five-gallon bucket filled with non-chlorinated water. To keep the brew oxygen-rich and microbially active, we used an aquarium air pump and air stone for constant aeration. To supercharge microbial reproduction, we added two tablespoons of unsulfured molasses, the sugar source microbes love, and let the mix brew for 24 hours. After brewing, we removed the compost bag and strained the liquid. This gave us a nutrient-dense, microbe-packed tea ready to wake up even the most depleted soils. To make this a fair test, we used identical containers filled with the same type of slightly compacted, nutrient-poor soil. One group received the rice water solution once every three days. The second group got aerated compost tea once a week, as it's more concentrated. A third control group received plain water only. We kept all groups under identical light, moisture, and temperature conditions to isolate the effects of each treatment. The goal wasn't just to see which one helped plants grow better, but which one activated the soil microbes faster. The real secret to long-term soil fertility. After the first week, something fascinating started to happen. The rice water-treated soil developed a light, earthy aroma, a sign that fermentation microbes were already active. A thin layer of beneficial white fungal growth began to appear on the soil surface, often called mycelial bloom. That's a strong indicator of microbial activity beneath the surface. Meanwhile, the compost tea plot looked darker and richer in texture. The soil structure began to loosen up, suggesting a surge in microbial decomposition. By day 10, plants growing in compost tea-treated soil started showing deeper green leaves, indicating improved nutrient uptake. But here's where things got interesting. 
While compost tea seemed to give a quicker visible boost to the plants, the rice water soil showed faster microbial respiration when tested, meaning the microbes themselves woke up earlier and started breaking down organic matter more rapidly. After three weeks, the results were undeniable. The compost tea group produced taller plants with thicker stems and a visibly stronger structure. The rice water group, however, displayed something equally important. Higher soil microbial counts and a softer, more aerated soil texture, indicating thriving underground life. When measuring microbial activity using a simple soil respiration test, the rice water soil released 17% more carbon dioxide, a direct indicator of microbial metabolism, than the compost tea soil in the same time frame. However, compost tea showed higher nutrient content, particularly in nitrogen and phosphorus availability, by the end of week 4. In short, rice water wakes up microbes faster while compost tea sustains and nourishes them longer. The combination of both, when used alternately, could be the ultimate secret weapon for living soil. The reason rice water gets microbes moving so quickly lies in its simple sugars and starches. These carbohydrates act like an instant energy source for bacteria and fungi, triggering explosive microbial growth right away. Compost tea, on the other hand, introduces an already rich microbial population, plus trace minerals and humic compounds that stabilize soil health over time. Think of rice water as the morning coffee for your soil microbes. It wakes them up fast. Compost tea, though, is the nutritious breakfast that keeps them thriving all day long. Used together, they form a natural cycle of stimulation and sustenance, mimicking the balance found in healthy, living ecosystems. If you're looking for immediate microbial activation, rice water is your go-to, especially before planting or when trying to revive tired soil. Use the diluted, fermented formula once every three days for two weeks. For long-term soil enrichment, brew compost tea weekly and water your garden with it in the evening to reduce evaporation and encourage microbial colonization overnight. Over time, alternating between both, rice water one week, compost tea the next, can create the perfect synergy for microbial diversity and balanced soil nutrition. The verdict? Rice water wakes up your soil microbes faster while compost tea keeps them working harder and longer. Together, they form a powerhouse duo for any gardener aiming to build living, fertile soil naturally, without chemicals or synthetic fertilizers. So next time you rinse your rice, don't pour that cloudy water down the drain. It could be the spark your soil's been waiting for. If you found this experiment helpful, make sure to subscribe to Soil & Crop Central, hit that like button, and share this video with fellow gardeners. Because healthy soil means healthy plants. And it all starts with feeding the life beneath your feet.